Adding a signature or watermark to your photos is a great way to show the viewer who took the photograph. Artists will often add a signature to the bottom right hand corner of their paintings. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can either add a signature or watermark to your photos only using Lightroom. And I'm going to start right now. Now, adding a signature or logo to your photo is actually remarkably easy with Inside Lightroom. There's kind of two ways that we can do it. The first way is by adding it to a print. So let's say you want to add it to a white border. So you've got a photo, you've got a nice white border, and you want to kind of add a signature like an artist would to their paintings. And then option two is by adding it with inside the image through our export settings with Inside Lightroom. And today, I'm going to be discussing both examples. I'm going to make sure I leave the timestamps to option one, and option two in the link in the description. So let's discuss option one first. So go ahead and choose just one image. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the develop panel, so I've already edited it. You can see this the before and after. It's a photo I've recently taken in Canyonlands National Park in Utah. So what we're gonna do is go from our develop panel, we're gonna drop over to our print panel. Now, inside the print panel, you wanna go down to the bottom left-hand corner, choose your page setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose A3 as an example, and because this is a landscape image, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a landscape, and I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Now when it comes to the white border, you can change the size of that if you want to by going to your layout, going to cell size, and we can change it. So if you want it really small, or you want it really big, I like choosing around nine inches on an A3 sized print, and as you can see, we've got this nice white border. Now if you want to add a signature, the bottom right-hand corner, all you'll need to do is simply go to page, and then you wanna drop down to where you can see it says identity plate. Now an identity plate is just a fancy word for signature or logo. It's just a little plate that fits at the bottom right hand corner or actually wherever you want. I always choose bottom right, but you can choose that wherever you want in the image. And basically it's just a little PNG file or a little JPEG file that you can add to your photo. Now what you'll need to do is actually upload one. So go ahead and click in this little box here, then drop down to edit. It will open up with this little box here. Now there's two ways. You can add text or you can add a graphic. If you wanna add a signature, I always like choosing a graphic. Then what you wanna do is go ahead and locate file. Now I've got two examples. I've got a black version and I've got a white version. So depending if your photo's really dark, you obviously then wanna choose a white logo. And if your photo's really bright, you obviously wanna choose a black logo. So if you are thinking of making a signature, try and always make two, make a dark version and a light version just so it's visible on your print. Now we we'll see this is a fairly dark image, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose white, go ahead and click choose, then go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, it's now added, you can see it is here. And all you need to do is then just choose where you want it to be positioned, so size and position. So you've got two options here, you've got your opacity, so for example, if you wanna drop that opacity, I usually like having it at 100%, but again, that's very optional. And then you've also got scale, so you can have it really big or really small. I like choosing between 10 to 15%. Then it's completely up to you where you want it. So for example, if you want it inside the image, so you could go for something like so, but if you want it outside the image, you can also do that. So for example, I might actually change this back to my black one. Go ahead and click choose, okay. And now you can see I've actually added to the outside of my image. And again, you can add it wherever you want, really. If you wanted it in the middle, if you want it in the center, completely up to you. So that's if you want to add it to the outside of your image with a border. But what is if you want to batch add it to a whole range of photos? Well, we can do that as well with Inside Lightroom. It's just in a different section of Lightroom. So instead, we're gonna go to print. We're gonna go ahead and choose a library. And let's say I want to add it to all of these photos. So let's go ahead and select, let's say I want to add it to three photos. So let's say I want to add it to these three photos here. What I'm going to do is right click, I'm going to go ahead and down to export, and I'm going to go ahead and choose export. Now in export, we can obviously choose where we want to save it, location wise, the file naming. I'm just going to go ahead and choose my desktop as an example. But if you want to add a logo, what we're going to do is right down to the bottom, we want to go ahead and click watermark. Then inside watermark, you want to go ahead and click edit watermark, and it'll pop up with this dialog box. Now you can see I've actually already added it, but let me discuss how I got there. In the very top right-hand corner, you've got two buttons. You've got text and you've got graphic, and they're fairly obvious. Text, you've got a text here. You could do copyright James Fever. You can choose, yeah font or anything like that. But again, if you want to add a signature, make sure you go ahead and choose graphic. Then in image options, go ahead and click choose. 
Again, you can choose either black or white version. This is why I think it's really important to have two options, one bright and one dark. I'm gonna go ahead and choose white in this example. Go ahead and click choose. Then right at the bottom here, you've got watermark effects. So again, you've got the same settings. You've got your opacity here, but most importantly, you've got your proportionality. So how big you want it. And this is going to be a percentage of the size of the image. This is why I always say is choose proportional and then choose a percentage. Because if your image is really small, uh, pixel wise, it will be really small. Other or otherwise, if you choose fit or fill, it's gonna be huge and it's just gonna end up ruining your photo in my opinion. So go ahead and choose proportional. Then right at the bottom here, and again, this is really important. This is going to be your anchor point. So where will it appear? And again, this works with horizontal images or vertical images. If you choose bottom right, it's always gonna appear in the bottom right. Or if you could choose bottom left, it'll always appear in the bottom left. I'm gonna go ahead and choose bottom right because I always like choosing the bottom right here. Go ahead and click done. And then you can see it's saved. You can even save it as a preset. Then all you will need to do is go ahead and click export. Just give it a couple seconds to export. And if we go ahead and minus Lightroom here, we can see that every single photo, photo one, photo two, and photo three have all been added. And as you can see, they're actually slightly different aspect ratios. And there we have it. That is how you can easily add a signature or watermark to your photo, depending on how you want to add it inside Lightroom.